In this video, let us look into another couple of uh, laws based on sets and uh, it's, it's called as commutative laws of sets. So let us see what exactly are commutative laws of sets. I'm sure you remember uh, commutative law and associative law. Uh, when we did it in I, I think in the primary school for multiplication well that's exactly the same thing except that it's going to be used in sets now so let's consider for any two sets for any two sets a and b a union b is going to be equal to b union a so this is the first one and the second one is nothing but a intersection b is going to be equal to B intersection A. So these two laws are called as the commutative laws of sets. I'm sure you'd have remembered what exactly it would have been. Okay, two times three is the same as three times two. That is what that that's what is called as the commutative law of sets. All right. So let's quickly look into an example to just see if it works. Actually, say let's have two sets. One is say one, two, three. Four, four five and six and let's have another set b which is four six eight ten all right so now a union b let's see what is a union b a union b is going to be equal to one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six comma eight comma ten so that's what is going to be a union b what is b union a well, it's going to be the same, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. Nothing different. So therefore, A union B is also equal to B union A, which proves that commutative law holds good for sets, at least for the union operation. Now, let us look into the intersection. So what is uh, A intersection B now? A intersection B will be the ones the elements of both the sets, the elements which are going to be same for both the sets, that's going to be the intersection, right? So A intersection B is going to be what? 4 and 6 only. So 4, 6. And what about B intersection A? It's the same thing, nothing different at all. So 4, 6. So therefore, commutative law also holds good for the intersection operation on sets. All right, so that ends this video, a very simple video, I'd say. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with another law which is called as the associative law of sets.